You know, I've been pounding the table for the Warriors, calling them my Warriors, much to the chagrin of everybody in this room, including Susie. Mm-hmm. Um, you know how I've been talking about them. I picked them to start the season. And so I am all about the dubs, all about the Warriors, all about that stuff. Love them. So I say with love and affection about last night's game, a simple question of what the hell was that? <laughs> the hell going on? The hell going on? As Stefan Diggs once tweeted out famously in the month of March, the hell going on in May here? What the hell was that? You know, and, and um, it, it, it's just kind of the last two games were – Unwarrior like in the fact that, as Susie, you were pointing out yesterday, show what Charles Barkley said at halftime of that eventual win over the Grizzlies. Yeah, he referred to it as a scrimmage. They looked like they were playing a scrimmage. And then they eventually won it. And last night's game looked like to me, all right. And then Steph talking about whoop that trick, right? A little hustle and flow going into there was no hustle, there was no flow, there was nothing. And they started playing that song after, in the, I think it was eight minutes to go in the game. Place going crazy, and Steph even found that funny as the place in Memphis. They were down 50 at one point in the game. And it looked like the Warriors had this belief of, you know what, just one game. We don't need to really expend that much energy. Once they, We'll just roll it out, play another scrimmage. Play another scrimmage. And maybe we could win this thing and then go home. We'll just, we just need to go home. We just need to go home and then we'll wrap it up there. And Draymond's jumping around and laughing as they're playing. I understand I sound incredibly old and white when I say whoop that trick. I understand that. Okay. <laughs> I, I was understand. really thinking you sound like Dorothy wanting to go home. That's what I was thinking. It just sounded to me and looked to me like they're just rolling the basketballs out against the Memphis Grizzlies team that dare I say, is just as good, if not better, without John yeah. Moran. Is that what you're saying? I'm going higher register on that. A little bit. Clay Thompson wasn't so happy with his teammates afterwards. He told Clutch Sports, it was embarrassing. It was awful. But sometimes basketball isn't an exact science. We played like a shell of ourselves. So like I said before, we'll watch film and make the necessary adjustments. You'll see a totally different effort on Friday. Let's hope so, because you don't want to go back to that building for Game 7. Now with tricks getting whooped. I was so stunned. I was so stunned. Yeah, I mean, that was just... There's a serious vibe of the, the, the teachers out of the room and they're just messing around in the back <laughs> and figure that they could just do their homework, you know, on lunch and <laughs> hand it in. So that was like, in your opinion, an 80s rock video from MTV, like when the teacher leaves, right? And then I, I, it, it, everything explodes. Or a substitute, think, or a substitute teacher. Are you in. talking about hot for teacher? Is that, is I that mean, that Mike Brown is a very attractive man. Bear. Steve Kerr, sexy guy. Maybe maybe that was what was happening. Maybe <laughs> maybe they were just having a good old time out there. You know what I'm a, what sitting a here. Mess. You do know I'm sitting here, Things right? Things that have never been uttered on the Rich Eisen show before. Certainly TJ, from that you chair. should have seen him watching Top Gun yesterday when Jennifer Connelly hit the screen. That's his That's his one and not, That's his one and done. Is that his hall pass, oh, Jennifer yeah. Connelly? Jennifer. I don't mean to like... She delve is... Excuse, off me. Excuse me. I am sitting here and we're talking basketball. I think he audibly <laughs> gasped. Okay. But he went... <gasps> All right. I'm sitting here. That's how I felt, you know, I watching Clay room. Thompson, no? Susie, oh, the quote what? Rich Eisen, we'll put a pin in that and we'll come back to it. <laughs> Let's put a pin in that. <laughs> After this, because I want to touch on this. Where do we get on that? I'm talking about the Warriors just absolutely spitting the bit. And I, I'm just hoping that Clay, uh, that, 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 that I'm just judging a book <laughs> You're by its cover. right now, okay? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just hoping that Clay, when he, that, that, that everyone else, Draymond, who's as we all know, is as serious as a heart attack when he needs to be, yeah. and and Steph is a champion that they can just slough that off. We've seen that before in the playoffs; people getting blown out, and then they come back the next game, and it's just all fine and dandy. But they they better act like you know the hot teacher is at the front of the room, and they are going to uh, button up their schoolwork. Because I would think they would have a major problem against the Grizzlies in Game 6. Again, why not? We're already seeing that the Grizzlies are fast on defense. They're long on defense. Yep. They are jumping into uh, lanes that other teams cannot jump into. They're jumping out at the three 
three-point shooters. They're, they've got the Warriors out of sync, and the guy who can get them back into sync is out with COVID. And I am um, I'm a little nervous when your, I see that. For your Warriors? For my Warriors, yes. Can you imagine Steve Kerr at home watching that game because he's cut from the cloth of Phil Jackson, so he's a disciplinarian. And Phil hated it when the guys would celebrate or even be lackadaisical or relax in the court. Don't worry, we're going home. Anathema to Steve's DNA. He must have been chucking things at that TV like you can't even imagine. <laughs> Game six coming up. Better take it. Don't want to go back to the, what, the, the trick whoopers. <laughs> Get the house. Don't want to have that. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.